Hello, dear friends. Welcome back on the tutorial from the solid cam. The, this is the, the short tutorial. And uh, today we will learn how to obtain the pocket mailing in the solid cam. This is our the pocket and this is our the final product. The, in the previous uh, tutorials, we have seen the face mailing and the profile mailing in the solid cam. And uh, if you see here in the left side in the, the in the navigator, you will see the there is a two operation. This one the the face milling which we obtain it to remove the 0 0.25 millimeter the overstock material from the upper surface along the that direction. And uh, this is the second operation. This is the profile milling which we learned in the second tutorial to remove the, the two millimeter overstock from the, the the, the profile of the, our the system. So now we will uh, continue the same uh, with the same work piece and uh, learn in this tutorial the, the this pocket milling. So just I will uh, the hide these two operations. So the this is our the stock. Let me remind this one. We already define it in the first tutorial. So this is the, our the, the final material, so the target material. And uh, this is our the zero point, the coordinate system which we defined in the corner. And uh, we have the already the created a two tool. The tool number one is the, for the face milling that this one and the tool number two is the, for the profile milling. And the, the diameter is the, the, the six millimeter of the distal and the diameter of the this pocket here is to the radius 10 millimeter. So in this case, we, it is enough to use the second tool, this end mill for this pocket milling also. We will not create the, the, the new tool for this operation, just we will use the, the, the end mill for this pocket also, that's the flat mill. So in order to create the, the pocket operation, uh, as usual, we will go to the, the select operation then the right click, add milling operation and uh, select from the list here, the pocket milling, so pocket. As usual, the, here it will open the, the, the operation that's for the pocket milling and the step-by-step, step, we will start to select our the features, our the elements for the, our the operation. Then we, as usual, we will start from the selecting the geometry by default is the select here and uh, we select the new geometry defined our the new geometry for the pocket i mean the, we will the, uh, we define our the borders for the pocket it is the almost same as we did with the profile milling here the tangent and this one is activated uh, so it is uh, better to activate this one and if you select uh, for example the edge of the the pocket like this it will automatically select all the edges because of the tangency is the selected here and just press okay here. So we defined our the border values. So it means that we are the going to just make the machining, the, the material which is the located inside of the, this border. So in the inside, it is located this pocket. So we would like to remove the, this the border so now we can accept it press okay so geometry is defined now tool the uh, we will select the tool so we will not create a tool just we will select the tool that is the existing the tool which we define it already in order to do this just select here and we will define here select the second tool for this operation and just uh, press to here the select so you see the turn end mail is uh, selected with the diameter of this one. And this is the parameter for the, this is uh, selected. Now we will define the levels, the upper level and the lower level for the, our the pocket. So here the upper level, select the upper level at the, this face. You see the face selected, this is the zero point, press okay. And the lower, face uh, the, the pocket depth is the this way. So the depth is the 
the six millimeter of the pocket, it automatically defines the depth is a six millimeter. And the next is to, is to define the technology, the, the part. So in the technology, what is the important? It should be the here, the selected the counter. And the floor offset, let's make it uh, 0 0.2 here. It means that we are making the roughing operation. So in the after this operation, 0 0.2 millimeter, the material will be remained. So then we have to make the, the finishing operation. So this is the amount of material that is the remained after this operation. So here the, we'll keep this one. So we will go to the counter. And uh, here, what is important? So you can start uh, the, your the, the pocket milling from the center or from the outside. There is the two options. If you select the inside, it means that it will start from the, the center of the pocket to mill. And if you select the outside, it will start to to mill the, from the outside and the, go to the, the, the center. So let's make it inside, start from the center. And the, in the corners, uh, you can several options, the fillets, the, the, the corners, let's make it the, the fillet. And the, there is the options of the direction of the, the cutting, there's a claim or conventional in the claim. The option that the, your the tool rotation is the opposite to the feed weight, and in the conventional that the tool rotation and the feed weight in the same direction, and the, they can uh, define the, any of them. And here it will be the, the linear. There is another option, so we can select the linear for this case. Next is the link. The link is the important. And uh, in the link option that we will define the, the first interaction of the, the tool with the material. So the, the first engagement. So the first is the ramping is the important. There is the several options of the ramping. So there is the known vertical angle, helical and linear. In the known option, the, for example, that the tool will be engaged just in the vertical direction and uh, with the automatic positioning and then uh, the vertical uh, the same the name is, uh, it will be engaged to the you see here the picture it will engage in the vertical position and you will define the the manual the engagement point by the clicking this point and you see here you can define it now it is the automatically start from the center but you can manually define the engagement point at any point. So let's keep in the center. Just uh, close this one. In the angle, it will uh, engage, you see in the illustration, it will engage to the material, to the pocket with the, some angle. So uh, the, the resolution. In the helical, it will uh, engage to the material to remove the pocket with the, the helical options. And the uh, linear is just uh, looks like to the, the <coughs> angular point, so with the linear. So we will select, we can select any of them, but we will select here the helical. And the helical, so it will engage to the helical point. So we define it our the, all the settings. Now we will save and calculate it. And uh, we will see the our the operation here. It will see this green represents that this helical point is the engagement. So it starts to engage to the, the the to the material in the center from the engagement. So then it will start to remove the material of the pocket. So let's uh, simulate it. And then let's split. And this is the speed. Let's make play it. So this is the engagement. You see, in the helical form, it starts to remove the material in the helical form, starting from the center after the engagement. So then it will remove the the material, the pocket material. 
So this is the how to obtain the pocket. So let's uh, close this one. In the case of the engagement, uh, we can define any, for example, let's make it vertical and let's define the point. And uh, let's define, for example, this point, any point, and uh, just uh, accept it. And uh, again, save and calculate. And if you see here, this point, which is the vertical engagement, which we define it by ourselves. So this is the how is the difference between the helical and the vertical engagement. So let's uh, simulate it. So you see, it start to engage from the, this point and start to obtain the pocket. So there is several options of the, the ramping and engagement operation. So let will I will bring to the the helical the most better solution. So save and calculate. Now it is changed again for this position. So this technology. Let me check it here. And here also you can uh, specify the step down. And uh, since our the depth is here, the six millimeter, it is zero. Uh, there is only the one the depth, depth per cut. Let's make it one this well, and it will become the six layers here. If we the calculate it again here, you see, it will become the six layers. And uh, because every the one millimeter, so I will uh, simulate again here and uh, solid verify and uh, just uh, play it. So this is the engagement in the center in the helical form. The last one will matter. Then it will remove the 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 whole the pocket the the the, the area in the in the one millimeter depth. Then second depth one millimeter in total two millimeter the engagement in the helical forum then the second pocket of the two millimeter the same way it will go until the, the depths the remaining the 0 0.02 millimeter material so because we uh, inserted the the offset value for the floor 0 0.02 millimeter because it is a roughing operation, then we need to make the finishing operation. So this is the operation, how does it, the pocket operation is obtained. So we can uh, stop it, let's close this one, and uh, just uh, close this one. So this is the, the short tutorial for the pocket milling. And uh, let me show the other three operations the face milling, profile milling, and pocket milling. And uh, you can uh, simultaneously uh, simulate the three operations, just uh, selecting, pressing the control and selecting all the, the operations. And right click, simulate it, solid verify, and uh, start to play. The first operation, face milling, then second operation is the profile milling. So it's the second tutorial we have seen. And the last one is the, what we have seen today is the pocket milling, it's the ramping operation in the helical form in the one millimeter, then the pocket thing. Let's the speed up it. So, so we have finished it with the simulation. So this was the, the short tutorial and the, how to obtain the pocket milling in the solid cam. This the reminder is that this is the just a roughing operation because the, let me show here, double click to the pocket milling and the, here in the, the level. So uh, let me in the technology, so it is 0 0.2 floor offset, it means that we remain at that 0 0.2 millimeter material in the floor. So we need to make uh, one more operation for the finishing operation to remove the, the 0 0.2 millimeter material the same way as we done with the pocket milling.